Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve another important problem from module five, group theory. So the question is: Let g equals to s four for alpha equals to one two three four two three four one. Find the subgroup of H which is equal to alpha. Determine the coset of H and G. So let's break it and solve by step by step. So what are our first step? Understand the permutation which are given. This is our permutations. Alpha equals to one two three four. Two, three, four, one. The permutation which is given is a cyclic, four cyclic. So alpha equals to one, two, three, four. It is cyclically same. One to two, two to three, three to four, and four to one. One to two, two to three, three to four, four to one. So now go for our second step, which is the find the subgroup of. This is our first step, and this is our second step. So what we do in second step? Find the subgroup of H, which is equal to alpha. So as you know that alpha is a four cyclic group. Its power will generate all the element which is given in this group. So First, go for alpha to power zero, which is equal to I D, which is equal to identity element. Now go for alpha to the power one, which is equal to this one, because it is a power one, na. One, two, three, four. Next, go for alpha to power two. Which is equal to, as you can clearly see that it is a cyclic. So swap one with three and two with four. The value of alpha swap becomes one two three and two two four. How it comes? Swap one with three and two with four. To get to get alpha square. Now go for alpha cube. So for alpha cube, how you can find the help of cyclic? So applying reverse cyclic means one to four and three to two because all the elements are using here in alpha to the power one, alpha to the power two, two. So one, four, three, two. How we obtain it by applying reverse cycle, which is one four three two, means one two four and three two two. So what is alpha four? Which is always equal to ID means here cyclic complete. So the subgroup of H is equal to first one is ID means ID element. Next one is alpha to the power one, which is one two three four alpha square one three two four and alpha q one four three two. So this is the subgroup of H. So now our second part is. To find the left cosets of H and G, so left coset of H and G where G equals to S four. So S four, how many elements are there for factorial? It means twenty four. So the symmetric S four has order twenty four, as you can clearly see that. So the subgroup, the order of the subgroup is subgroup order. Which is equal to four. So the number of left coset is S four, which is twenty four by four, which is equal to six. S four is nothing but G. So it means that. We will 
हैव सिक्स क्रोसेट थैंक यू